this is how I got all nines in my GCSE sciences and how I did it really, really efficiently so that I didn't have to work as hard as I could. Like for some subjects, for like some of the sciences, they were my killers. They were so hard, whereas one of my sciences was a breeze. So what I can say from this video, and you cannot argue with me, biology is the easiest, chemistry is next, and physics is the hardest. Physics is the worst, you don't even understand. Physics is like so much maths, moments, and like, ugh. Chemistry, again, maths, calculating moles, and biology was nice. There was barely any maths. Um, A-level was a completely different story, but there was barely any maths. It was just a lot of common sense and a lot of theory that you just have to learn. So I somehow got nines in all three of my sciences. I did triple science, and this is how I got it. I ended up getting a big like, top band in nine um, for all of them, which is quite good. But yeah, this is exactly how... I managed to get all nines in those subjects. So number one, because you might only have a couple of days remaining until your exam, the one thing you need to know is exam technique. This is so, so, so important. You cannot be writing essays in your science exams. They have to be written in bullet points, concise. By bullet points, you can't just write one, one word, one word, one word, but structure your answer in bullet points so that they're co coherent and they have a nice structure. So don't be like, the, the ribosome is blah, 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 because blah, 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 blah. Forget about the this and the because, just write in bullet points, succinct bullet points, because then it's so much easier to mark. And the points, basically, on the mark scheme, there are specific words you need to write to get the marks. And if the examiners can see those specific words, they're just gonna go tick, tick, tick. Like, definition of osmosis, net movement of water, uh, water, water molecules, high concentration, low concentration, partially permeable membrane, something like that, um, from an area of, high, did I say this, high water potential to low water potential, I don't know, but um, those keywords like are needed for the answers. So regarding exam technique, what you need to do is pass papers. Now, during the lead up to exams, like three months prior, you should not be doing the actual pass papers, be doing topic questions found in physics and maths tutor, stuff like that, because big mistake that I made was that I ran out of past papers and that was tough because I had to use other exam board material and that just was not, that was not suitable. So what you should do is do the topic questions either in your CGP book or in physics and math tutor or another place um, and do those, learn how to do those before you move on to the actual big papers because there's no point doing the big papers until you've learned all of the content. So at the point when your school tells you you've learned everything, then move on to do the big papers because it's a mistake I made and I tried to do everything before. I tried to do all the papers for my mocks and it just just didn't work. So don't do that because it's, it's going to stress you out because I've run out of papers even for A-level and I'm struggling. So don't do that. Um, so that's exam technique. And now... Dealing with like the stress in the exam, that's another bit of exam technique. I think you're, the most nervous you're gonna be is right before the exam, before you even enter the hall, that's when you start crapping yourself. Um, but as soon as you turn the page, for me, for like a lot of people, it just, that fear vanishes. Um, I don't know how, but it, it, it is scary. Especially when you see like a question you don't know how to, like you just don't know, you're gonna probably miss it out, but do not do that. Just write as much as you can remember because you could still get one or two marks. Um, so please do remember that. The next thing I did to get um, nines in my sciences was to basically teach. So the, the best way of actually learning something is to teach it. Now, by teaching it, I used to hold, I don't even know if you remember, I, I used to hold like crash courses, things like that. Those were to teach people around me. Um, basically, the reason why teachers know so much is because they teach and you're, you're actually synthesizing the information while you teach. And the, and the way I got so good at biology specifically is because I taught so much biology to people either in year 10 or year 11 um, who are learning the same content as me. And I was able to just synthesize it a lot better when I was teaching someone. So my advice is either just talk to a wall and try teaching the wall or just 
try teaching someone for free um, because that that will strengthen your understanding and your knowledge of the specific topic and it will make it a lot easier for you to actually regurgitate that information in your exam because you're going to know exactly what the mark scheme wants and especially when you're marking the, the other person's paper you're cross-referencing to the mark scheme so win-win you don't like you you're learning whilst they're also learning so make sure you try doing that the next thing i did to get a nine was ditch my notes like notes were useless the notes i made i spent a lot of time in year 10 making notes for all of my sciences like and i didn't touch them once i printed them out and i guarantee you they're stuck in the box they haven't been touched since year 10 because there was no need. I moved to Anki, I moved to Quizlet, and I was just constantly testing myself on actual things that I needed to know rather than just notes that were just so long and boring to read. Are you Like, you have to test yourself by using Anki, Quizlet, or any other flashcard, um, flashcard software because writing notes was the worst decision I made and it just wasted so much time when I could have actually spent that time learning the information rather than just copying it out. So if I'm you, don't don't write notes because they're just useless. Use Anki, use Quizlet. Of course, by notes, I mean physical notes or like if you're writing notes, but if you are making flashcards, you can write the flashcards yourself. But when it comes to two months before the exam, you do not want to, um, you do not want to be writing notes. Also, do you like my t-shirt? Because I, not my t-shirt, my sweater, because I do. Um, so yeah, that's that's a really, really big point. The next point is use my app. Basically, this is not an ad, I'm just gonna plug it in here. I am working on an app called School Hack and basically this is the app. You can upload a document and chat with the document back and forth using AI and um, ask it questions, you can summarize it and check plagiarism, so just download it. It's called School Hack. School Hack. Yeah. Um, download it because I need I need to get so many I've, you know I've got like five nearly six hundred thousand downloads which is absolutely crazy um, I don't know how so um, yeah next next thing because of AI take advantage of it now I, I didn't have AI last year um, and now boom it, or the year before now boom AI has spiraled out of control take advantage of it, use it as a student, like especially for sciences, get it to test you back and forth, get ChatGPT to test you on questions, prompt it, and it like it's so powerful for students, you don't even understand, but people just don't use it in the right way, they don't, they just use it to do essays, but you can actually prompt ChatGPT to uh, like, mark, like ask you biology questions from the GCSE AQA paper one spec and mark them for you, so do that. And finally, I just wanted to say that to get a grade 9, it is tough. It is really, really tough, and it's like an A star star. Like an 8 is an A star, 7 is an A. To separate yourself from a grade 8 to grade 9 is doing those specifically targeted grade 9 questions, the tough ones. At the, at, they're probably at the back or like the, as you go down the page. The best way I did this, I used to have the CGP books and they would separate the, the questions based on grades 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 8 and 9. And I would go through for each subject all of the questions at the bottom which were grade 9 targeted. And this this ensured that like I was able to do the application questions. I was able to get my head around the maths and the complicated side of GCSE. Um, and it prepped me because if I didn't do those, I would have no idea how to answer those tough questions, especially for paper two. Um, for my example, it was just so hard, but we did it. I made it and somehow I managed to get the nines and I basically, I scored above 80% in chemistry, physics and 90 something percent in biology, um, which is really, really good. So hopefully this video helped. Hopefully it wasn't just waffle. If you need any help feel free to comment in the comments below and I'm going to try making more videos so let me know what to make next and yeah I'll try. Thank you so much. Bye.